A Pepo request for taking a video tour down into the engine room. It's really noisy down here, so you may not be able to hear very much, but we're going to get a look around anyway. I'm Alec Rappier. I'm a senior engineering cadet. Where are you from? I'm from New York. New York? Yeah. You found your own way all the way to Texas? Yeah, yeah. Somebody said howdy to me when I visited, and I was like, got to go. That, um, you were in with howdy. Yeah. Okay. Who else do we have? Um, cadet First Class Liam Hanna. I'm a senior engineering cadet as well. I'm from Austin, Texas. Outstanding, Liam. Uh, I'm First Class uh, Jonathan Martin. I'm a uh, senior deck cadet. Dick, could you get lost, find your way to the engine room, or did these guys kidnap you? Uh, yeah, I think, I think they kidnapped me. They put the bag over my head, threw me down here, so, you know. No, seriously, why, why, why is it important uh, for you to be down here, too? Well, right now, I'm on watch. I'm trying to learn all what goes on down here while we're up at the bridge, you know. So. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, tell me about this. We're actually, I mean, we're in the engine room, but it's air-conditioned and nice in here. Yeah, so this is the, uh, it's actually a newer portion of the ship. Have the steam portion up there where the uh, turbines are, the boilers are, uh, and the turbine generator. So it's all the steam really is is in that space. This is the auxiliary machinery room where all the water production is. We have an evaporator, two reverse osmosis units, and then we have the uh, AC units that send the cold water throughout the ship to use for the AC units. And then we have uh, some of the purifiers in that room for the lube oil and the HFO oil. The fuel for the boilers and the fuel for the diesel generator. The diesel generator is actually pretty new to this unit. It's only about 10 years old. And we use it uh, for standby mostly. Uh, if they used to have to use the bow thruster and need more power on the ship, they put it online and get it going so that we make sure that we don't lose power and uh, have to rely on something else. Okay. So I said, I, basically, my job right now is to sit in here the air conditioning and uh, monitor all the levels and the temperatures in this space, make sure that nothing's wrong, and then if something needs to be fixed, I either call an engineer, if it's something small, I can fix it myself. Okay, so what are you actually monitoring? What are you uh, well, watching here? Over here, you have the temperatures for the cylinders and the temperatures for the uh, exhaust for the uh, Wartzilla diesel generator. Okay. And then uh, I actually have to go for mostly uh, temperatures and alarms. I have to go out into the machinery space and go look at the local temperature and pressure gauges. So it's not all automated. You've got to you got to go out there and just check it. How often do you do that? Uh, well, we have this is our logbook, so we have okay I don't know, about fifty numbers, about fifty uh, gauges we need to check. So at the beginning of the watch, you go out and you take uh, numbers, and then over the course of the watch, uh, you go out and just check to make sure that everything's still running. And then a few numbers, like our fuel consumption and water consumption, you check at the end of the watch. Okay. So that you have, uh, everybody checks it at the end of the watch, so you know exactly how much fuel and water you're consuming or producing. Okay. Your watch is four hours long, right? Yeah. So we're saying the 8 to 12 watch right now. We come at 7.30, we relieve the uh, current watch, and then we get relieved at 11.30. Right. Right. Okay. Got to get the handovers. Right. Absolutely. So. What part are you playing today? So my role in the plant right now uh, is basically to monitor the main machinery room. Uh, okay. To go around, make sure that all the operating equipment stays within uh, its set points. Uh, everything maintains normal operating conditions. Identify anything that's out of the ordinary. Report it to the licensed watch officers. Uh, okay. Unless it's something small, like a small uh, oil spill. That I can clean okay. Myself. Now, did you imagine you would be doing this about four or five years ago? Actually, about... Uh, seven years ago, I figured out this is what I wanted to do, and ever since then, I've been working toward it, and this is being my last cruise. I, I'm almost there. Now, what, 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 what made you wake up seven years ago and say, I want to sail, I want to be an uh, engineer? When, when I was really young, my dad was in the Navy, so I grew up around the water, always loved that, and then uh, growing up, I realized that I loved to work with my hands, work on machinery, uh, that sort of thing. So it was a very natural fit when I found that this was a career option uh, during career placement and aptitude yeah. surveys in high school. Okay, so, I mean, you've got the theory, too, though, right? Yes. Yeah, so you we, go to class all year. Yeah, we go to class all year uh, to get the theoretical knowledge, uh, to understand uh, the science behind the diesel and steam cycles, and then come and apply it on the ships over the summers. So do you understand everything that's out here behind us? And For the most part. I, okay. I have at least a basic understanding of everything that's going on in both these spaces. What's the hardest challenge you have faced on one of these cruises? Uh, the biggest challenge for me on these
this cruise is, is really familiarizing myself with new new ships, where you understand the basics of a steam cycle, but not necessarily where every valve or every component of it will be in this new space. Okay. How do you go about learning the new the, uh, the new system when you're on board a new vessel? Uh, for the most part, it's just time spent on the plan, time spent going around, uh, recognizing the different components and following the connections between them. Outstanding. A any regrets? Not so far. <laughs> okay, thanks a bunch, guys. Of course. This goes on forever. Okay, where are we? So this is basically a big propeller shaft. Yes. That's exactly what this yeah, is. Exactly what it is. And so it's going, and this is all the way to the stern, the aft of the boat. Yes. It's going out of there, and there's water out there. Yeah. Yes, now, how do we know if it's leaking? What are we looking for? Right now, we use a special oil that Right okay. now, we're on the water line. Yeah. So, uh, we're under water right now? We are. Wait a minute. Yeah, because if you think about it, the shaft has to come out into the propeller. Nobody told me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. How far below the water are we? Any idea? Um, I would say probably 15 feet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How many? Probably about 15 feet below the water. Right okay. Now. That's not bad. Not too bad. This is pretty amazing. It is. Shaft Alley? Yes, sir. All right. Let's head back out. Okay, so here we are in the engine room. We're at the main control panel, right? Yes. Yeah, this is our central control console. So right now you can see these two students here. Uh, one is actually controlling the throttle to control the steam going to the main turbines and ultimately increase or decrease the speed of the ship. So the he's one, controlling left. the speed by controlling the steam? Yeah. So it's yeah. not a gas pedal. No, it's not a gas pedal. The big steam valve. Yeah, you got the, the big wheel right there that controls the steam valve. Okay. 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 So, on the throttle right now, we have uh, the Jet 30 class Rogers. Okay. Jet Rogers is on the actually on the bell book, uh, writing down the engine orders that we get from the bridge. So if you can see those dials right there, the red screen. When you're in a river like this, you do a lot of adjustments then. Yeah, you can see every adjustment that we make in the record right here. Okay. That's your job, right down the throttle. Yes, sir. Right down the set, steam setting. Got it. Yes, sir. Are you good at it? Yep. It's the best. <laughs> How about these guys? Are they doing well? Yeah, I'll see you think this gets. Yeah.